No, you're good. Uh, I think a lot of the lot for both of those matches, both Russia and Brazil, uh, there was a lot of opportunities that we weren't as crisp as they were with. Right. If that makes sense. There was no, yeah. there was some free balls that we didn't take care of. Um, there was some execution. In it. There's a, a ton of serving errors the entire tournament. I know yeah. everybody and their mom also knows about that. So yeah. uh, there's just like there's some volleyball maturity things that really uh, affected our results. Yeah. Uh, and 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 you can't. Well, you can. Sometimes you can. Sometimes you can win with that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. However, if it's a process that keeps repeating itself, match after match after match, then it gets into some some muddy waters. Yeah. Uh, and so I think that was one of the main things with the execution there in that second, the end of that second set, we, we got comfortable, got complacent, and then also in the fourth set, we were just like, okay, we're we have a two point. Well, I don't remember the exact number, two point, three point lead or something like that against this team. Okay, awesome. And then which is the complete worst mindset to have against a team like Russia or Brazil, yeah. the gnarliest teams in the world. So um, stuff like that. Um, also, uh, it's it was a complete sh shift in the mindset from night one against France because we yeah. came in not knowing anything, expecting to be like this out there, shaking, playing volleyball, not really seeing straight, um, figuring it out really early and just cruising with that. And then all of a sudden, Hey, the other team also did the same thing the first match too. They got their yeah. shakies out. They're good. They're acclimated. They're fine. How are you going to beat one of the best teams in the world at their best? You know, and so it's just a lot of that stuff. Huge shout out our partner, Dr. Price's Vitamins, for hooking us up with a promo code out of system twenty to get twenty percent off on their website. Link is down in the description below. Myself, Micah, Gage are using this product all summer. It's awesome. The electrolytes are sweet. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I think. You know, I had a lot of people come up to me and they were like, like, why are they watching the game? I was like, why are they missing so many serves? I was like, it's a tough line because, or it's it's, it's tough because it's like, okay, what are you going to do? Just, you got to hit your best serve, one. Like, that's the number one thing, again. But at the same time, if you don't hit your best serve and you're serving Russia across the net, big boys that can just, you're going to put the ball down. So I think that was that was kind of a, like, people come up to me. I was like, I was like, I don't know, that's kind of tough. It's like, do you back off? Do you not back off? Was that kind of like... Was it kind of discussed within the team or within the coaches? Like, do we kind of back off? Or was it always like, we got to go guns a blade in here, and that's where we're going to die by the sword, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Or was that kind of the yeah. mindset or what? No, the mindset that, that John always preached was go hit your best serve. We don't right. need to have uh, – we, we had a term called primal. We don't need to be going primal where we're just seeing red and just clubbing balls. We don't need to do that. We need to hit our best serve and for, and for the comfortability of the toss, the approach, the – the rhythm in the match, all those things play an effect to that. Um, but then it was also hit your best serve. And so right. I don't think, uh, I don't think I did that. I don't think a lot of us did that in this certain situations. I don't know what it was. Yeah. Um, and that's all I got on that. But uh, the serving, serving philosophy was always hit your best serve. Our listeners want to know about the Argentina match. Um, yeah. I think, I think that obviously going in the match, I mean, everything probably did, did, I mean, probably didn't, but did, did everything kind of feel the same? Were you guys confident? I mean, obviously you're confident, but did, did something feel off at all, or was like, or were you guys just kind of zoned in, kind of normal, per usual? Uh, well, we were definitely very far from normal, uh, and that's that was probably blatant for anybody that watched and has watched, right. ne maybe never watched volleyball in their lives, knew that something was off. Um, the sheer amount of stress that we placed on ourselves and that was put upon us as a team um overtook any type of mental cognitive process mm -hmm. it was it was sheer it was a sheer breakdown um mentally yeah of the our ability to play volleyball yeah so i'm not taking anything away from the way that they played because they came out ready to go and they punched us many times in the jaw and knocked us over uh, and they played incredible they're an incredible team obviously yeah. but uh that match goes a lot different if more than half of our team performs the way they should have. Right. You know, so, and that's all I'll say about that. It was probably already a little too, too edged to be saying, but, eh, fuck no, it, no it's, ours. it's gone, it's done, it's all good.